The oceans are our planet's major ecosystem, hosting some of the most amazing species and providing invaluable services to all. To ensure sustainable use of its natural capital, the blue economy opens a new set of possibilities that can boost economic development, inclusion, and climate change resilience. Latin America and the Caribbean holds great potential by turning to the blue economy, since it is estimated that more than one quarter of its population lives nearby and depends on ocean resources for their livelihoods and food security. Stakeholders in the region are already exploring opportunities in the blue economy. Projects in Jamaica, the Bahamas, and Belize are delivering great results for local economies and communities. In Jamaica, researchers and local communities are working on restoring and conserving mangroves to increase blue carbon sinks and enhance resiliency to climate change. The mangroves along 40 kilometers of the coastline in South Clarendon have died back. And the main causes of that have been hurricanes, as well as hard structures interfering with the flow of water, as well as dieback or fall off of irrigation runoff upstream. The solution and fixing of the mass dieback of mangroves start with engaging the community and getting their input into what's wrong and how to fix it. That goes in parallel with in-depth gathering of evidence one, from the sea, to see how it affects tidal crushing. Two, the mangrove itself and its characteristics. Three, the lands behind the mangrove that also bring water into the mangrove. And the watershed, all of that will be combined into a massive evidence mix, which will provide us with alternatives for nature-based solutions, such as clearing of canals that are blocked, and grading of beaches that impair the tides coming in and out. In the Bahamas, innovative financial mechanisms are being adopted to facilitate the development of new businesses and investments. Through Blue Economy Investments, the country supports micro, small, and medium enterprises and the sustainability of its marine and coastal assets. Following the devastating social and economic impacts of Hurricane Dorian and the COVID-19 pandemic, the Bahamas urgently need to look for economic recovery and diversification opportunities to enhance its resilience to natural disasters and climate change. Ecosystems such as mangroves, seagrass beds, and coral reefs provide invaluable services that could become the drivers of a new economy. Through the guarantee instrument, building a social and inclusive blue economy in the Bahamas, the country is already innovating and incorporating a financial mechanism that will boost the development of a new and more sustainable ocean-based economic sectors. In Belize, aquaculture innovations are helping local shrimp producers recover by promoting sustainable practices and good stewardship of marine resources. In Belize, we have been working with Belize shrimp growers to help them both access high value niche markets and also to be able uh, to better manage pests that in the past have decimated their entire production. So we help the Belize shrimp growers do two things. One, to certify under the Aquaculture Stewardship Council standards, which are the most stringent environmental and social standards for the production of shrimp. That allowed them to penetrate high value niche markets in Europe and to increase employment. And we also help them build a biosecurity protocol that collectively allowed them to monitor their, the health of their ponds in real time. The blue economy is key to achieving IDB's vision 2025. If you want to learn more about our work on the blue economy in Latin America and the Caribbean, please visit the Sustainable Islands platform, where you will find information about these projects, our events, and the newest reports on our innovations.